Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have a package from Speed Cube Shop. And yes, I'm gonna have to record this whole video in one take again because my video editor is still not working right. So inside is some pretty exciting stuff that you're about to see. Just gonna rip open the package. All right, so first thing is this. My Speed Cube Shop mini mat in my C timer unboxing. I said I was gonna be getting this and here it is, so that's cool. And then the other thing is, uh, yeah. well, business card for Galaxy Lube on the back. That's kind of cool. This is a Chi Pillow 2x2 keychain. This isn't actually mine. I got it from my friend who I taught how to solve a 2x2, and I'm going to give it to him. But then the thing I'm most excited about is this. This is the YJ Yufu V2M 7x7. Now this is a really exciting cube, and yeah, I don't actually have a very good 7x7. Mine is actually non-magnetic, so here it is. Wow. It's kind of heavy, makes sense. Yeah, it feels really nice. Here is my YJ Yushi V2 6x6. Yeah, it looks the same. I mean, this is the 7x7 version of this cube. So yeah, pretty cool to complete my collection of 2x2 to 7x7 magnetic cubes because my old 7x7 is not magnetic. Oh yeah, there's lots of lube on the outside. Okay, I'm going to have to clean that off. Let's do some first turns. Whoa, that feels fast. It feels stable. It's a little bigger than I'm used to, but it feels really good. Let's try parity algorithm. Oh, it's so slippery, it's so hard to hold. Okay, yeah, I'm not used to this. Oh. Alright, so it's feeling quite a bit faster than the 6x6. Yeah. But this one has a lot of lube in it, so that might be part of it. Yeah, it feels really, really good. Oh, almost almost locked up there. So this is my old main. This is my first 7x7. This is the Qi Qi Xing. It's not even magnetic. I bought it without even considering magnets. I just wanted the cheapest 7x7 I could get. And yeah, this one feels tiny compared to this. Like, they're actually... Size is pretty pretty big difference. It's like probably two and a half millimeters or so. But this just feels so much better. Like, so much faster. Well, actually, it probably feels about the same speed, but the magnets are really nice. Corner cutting feels quite a bit better. Yeah, this, this cube could, like, not really corner cut that well. So, very cool to have. Very nice, but, um, just like all of my YJ cubes are like, I don't really like the logo on them, and I want them to match my other ones. So, there's my 6x6, and then... Here are the Speed Cube Shop logos, so I'll just... You know what? I think I'm going to leave the YJ logo on there, actually. I kind of like it on the 7x7 for some reason. But yeah, it feels really good. Way faster than I expected. Um, kind of feels dry and luby at the same time. I, I think they tried to lube it. Didn't really get that much into it. More on the outside, but like... Like, this feels almost as good as my 5x5. Five five. I was not expecting this at all. It's like, this is amazing. Okay. Oh, wow. It, like, locked up, but then just popped back into fixed. Okay. So, yeah. I think I'm going to have to start getting into 7x7 seven seven now, because I don't really like 7x7. Seven seven, but now I'm going to have to get into it, because I can't not use this cube. Like, this cube is so satisfying to turn. And... Yeah, it has caps on the centers, which one annoying thing about the Yushi 6x6 is that the caps would sometimes come off, but it'll probably be okay. But yeah, this feels amazing. So, um, yeah, let's bring out the Speed Cube Shop mini mat. Oh, this is called the Gradient mini mat. It's, I thought it looked really cool. It feels thicker than I thought it would, but it's like nice and fabric-y on the outside and then there's like rubber right there um, I'll go get my chi timer 
Okay, here is my chi timer, and um, I would do 7x7 seven seven solve, but that will take me a while, because I'm not good at 7x7. Seven seven. But, um, let's try doing a J-perm, timing it. So, let's go. Four point four nine two. Uh, I think it can get like two something on a three by three. So like, yeah, not bad for seven by seven. This seven by seven though is just like amazing. I was not expecting that to be so good. It's so fast. It's like as fast as my five by five actually. Just yeah, it's it's great. Oh wow, this is like it can just spin because the mat is kind of slippery. That's cool. Yeah, the mat, it's thick, has lots of protection. Um, yeah, let's do... How about I embarrass myself and do a skew solve? A lot of you may know that I really don't like skew, but I'm still doing it at a competition anyway, so I'm going to have to practice it. But I literally know, like, the beginner's method, barely, and I'm just so bad at it. So, let's see how bad I do. Um, I don't really know this case. Um, I'm just going to keep doing this over and over again. Alright, here we go. I know this case. Okay, so yeah, the mat. The mat's nice. Way better than the towel I've been using. 52 seconds. Pretty bad. I know a lot of people can solve a skew like 10 times faster than that, but I don't care that much because I don't practice skew like ever. I've probably solved it 10 times in my life. So, yeah. Um, so, overall, I'd say, and obviously this cube I can't really review because I can't open it, but I'm just going to guess that it's good. I have the 3x3 version of it, and like it's pretty good, but it doesn't really corner cut. Hopefully that one's better. But, um, overall, I'd say this 7x7 is just amazing. I'm probably actually going to make a review on it, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, this mat is also really good, like, for 5 bucks, It's just amazing, and there's so many different kinds of mats you can get. And yeah, this 7x7 is just amazing as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos, and subscribe so you never miss my other videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.